Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, August 8th, 2013. Yesterday afternoon, President Obama called off the expected summit meeting that was going to be held with Russian President Putin in Moscow. The meeting was to be held just before the G8 summit meeting, which is going to be held in St. Petersburg. President Obama will be in Stockholm, Sweden instead. Of course, the uh, cancellation of the meeting was because of American outrage over the Russian granting of asylum for one year to the uh, disgraced NSA contractor, Edward Snowden, who has been releasing all the information about the eavesdropping efforts of the American government. Mr. Snowden, of course, had been holed up in the Moscow airport for about a month. President Obama yesterday also phoned his counterpart, uh, Unruhu Kenyatta, who is the president of Kenya, to offer uh, support if needed in the rebuilding efforts of the uh, Nairobi International Airport in Kenya. The East African hub, which uh, is a central transit point for flights between the Indian subcontinent and Europe, as well as beyond, uh, was basically wrecked yesterday after a massive fire uh, essentially shut down the terminal and did extensive damage to the airport. Uh, the airport is barely reopened as of right now. Two international flights landed late last night. Uh, it's unknown yet whether or not uh, all of the airlines that service the airport are going to be uh, back in action uh, even this week. Interesting, if you go to uh, flightaware.com and uh, pick out the uh, call line for the airport, you can see the uh, kind of traffic now that has been uh, diverted as a result of the fire. That uh, July 8th flooding uh, that was precipitated in Toronto by a massive thunderstorm, well, believe it or not, it's going to cost insurers about $730 million. This is according to Aon Benfield. The total economic cost is going to approach some $1.45 billion. This is a result of a uh, very, very unusually strong group of thunderstorms that pummeled the city of Toronto on the 8th of July. The railroad company whose runaway oil train caused a fire and explosion in the city of uh, Lac Magantique that killed 47 people has now filed for bankruptcy. The company, Montreal, Maine and Atlantic Railway, uh, now cites debts to over 200 creditors as a result of the train crash. Um, the park train with 72 tankers full of crude oil was unattended when it began to roll toward the town. Insurance payments in Oklahoma from the May tornado outbreak that was so damaging in two towns separated by a week apart in terms of the uh, disasters have now topped a billion dollars. According to the Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner, the numbers are staggering. We've topped a billion dollars in payments and the rebuilding is just beginning. This is a major catastrophe that's impacted thousands of Oklahomans. Some survivors are still dealing, still dealing with insurance and rebuilding issues. Honda Civic has earned top scores in the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's new small overlap uh, crash test. Uh, similarly sized cars from Nissan and Kia performed very poorly. The Institute put 12 new compact cars through the test, including two-door and four-door versions of Civic and Kia models. The Kia Soul and Forte and the Nissan Sentra earned the worst possible rating of poor in the test. Uh, Kia and Nissan have both pointed out that their cars perform very well in other Insurance Institute tests. Um, the uh, small overlap test that the Insurance Institute performed goes like this. Um, the compact cars are propelled at 40 miles per hour and strike a crash barrier with just one quarter of the front bumper on the driver's side. This concentrates impact into one small area and often falls outside the crash protection structure built into cars. It also spins the car violently. The test mimics a type of impact that accounts for nearly a quarter of all front-end crashes with serious or fatal injury to the front seat occupants. So it's good that they're doing this test. And here's a headline that you can't pay for if you're uh, in Bermuda. Um, an American uh, government official, a Treasury official, has said that Bermuda is a model of tax transparency. Of course, Bermuda has often been accused of being a tax haven. Listen to this. Bermuda's role as a member of the steering group of the uh, 
um, form on transparency and exchange of information for tax purposes has led the U.S. Treasury to describe the island as a leader in global tax transparency. The U.S. Treasury official Robert Stack made the comments after the American government completed transparency uh, negotiations with Bermuda. He said, we welcome the opportunity to complete negotiations uh, with Bermuda, which is a uh, leader in tax transparency worldwide. Well, that's very good news. You can hear the uh, size of relief at the Bermuda Monetary Authority and elsewhere with that headline of the newspaper. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.